I'm Andrew Armstrong, welcome to the Back Fist Show. Have you ever been tempted to record your video game console and all that sort of thing into your PC using HDMI? Of course you have, because I've used Composite in the past and it's a bit crap. So HDMI would be great because what I really wanted to do is connect cameras like this, the one you're looking at, into the web, uh, like a webcam interface. So I want to capture card so I could use this. When I'm doing my streams, you'll be able to see me in higher definition. Well, maybe not higher definition, but higher quality for the given definition. So someone lent me this and I thought I'd try this out. This is supposedly a full HD capture card. And this company does a bunch of products here, you know, from USB boxes to various cards. And I was like, whoa, this is great, man. This is just what I need. Comes with a little uh, disc, doesn't have the uh, Panda on it, so that's disappointing. And it just has this sort of crappy looking little card, really. It's just an, one single HDMI in. Look at it. Enjoy the port. And on the side here, you've got some chips and components. And on the other side, you think, and you've got a little tiny, tiny, little teeny, teeny, teeny PCI Express. And it says it's an uh, nurse. An NXP DA19977A slash 15C182 chip. A couple of memory chips. And it sounds great. It all sounds great, man. It says HD capture card. It's got everything in it. You're like, yeah, baby. But, but, you plug this in. Can you find drivers for it? Can you hell? You cannot. And uh, any drivers you can find are kind of hooky, unsigned ones and Basically, I installed this and it kind of bollocks up my Windows 10 installation. So I would not advise you get one of these unless you're really assured you can get Windows 10 drivers for it, any kind of bloody driver. Now, it's really a shame because in the olden days, you used to get the composite capture cards like this and they're really simple and everything was compatible with them. They're sort of based on the old brook tree or something uh, encoding system. Everybody had drivers for it. They worked quite well. I was hoping these would be the same and it would just work and webcam and taste, but unfortunately not. So that's that's a crying shame, so I'm going to have to not use high quality lenses for my streaming videos and uh, resort back to normal webcam use. So if you uh, want to get one of these, please beware. If you get one working, if you've got this one working, please feel free to let me know and I'll try again. But I might, oh, I don't know, maybe I'm not sure I want to break my system again, but yeah, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Please comment down below about these or about other solutions for doing this. Uh, click like, subscribe if you're that way inclined. And as ever, thank you for watching.